With a forecast of light winds and sunny spells, it was a perfect day for a walk at Home Fen near Peterborough, where I was joined by David Bradley and his dog, Teddy. David, a keen photographer, sends in lots of fantastic shots to help Ash and I tell the weather story each week. Walking the dog every day, I kept seeing all this lovely wildlife, sunsets and sunrises over the countryside. Yeah. And I thought to myself, well, why not capture it on camera? A, vari a variety of different colours. Yes, that's right. The lights and it's just absolutely stunning. You like to send loads of great photos in to us, Thank but you. they're not of just landscapes. They're of this beautiful one, Teddy. Yes. Well, uh, he's better looking than me. For start. <laughs> uh, he's very photogenic mm. and and you'll just he'll you'll get the camera out and he'll he will stop he's learned that if i get my camera out it's time to stop home fen is a site of special scientific interest and it's part of the great fen project which is aiming to restore a huge wetland area for wildlife recreating 14 square miles of ancient fenland landscape It's also one of the largest silver birch woodlands in England. If you're into landscape photography, you're waiting for us to say the phrase sunshine and showers, because with that, that's where the atmosphere is clear and you'll get those perfect crisp shots. But if you're wanting to take photos of sunsets and sunrises, we're waiting to have a warm front arrive, which will introduce some higher cloud and some medium level cloud, which will give you those perfect red skies. Later, we met up with Justin Tilly and his dog, Henry. Justin works for Natural England, which manages the nature reserve, and he explained the origin of these mysterious metal posts. These posts were installed back in the 1850s, and it was put in as a way to mark how the peat was shrinking as a result of all the drainage of the fens around this area. Oh. So if you imagine a sponge being squeezed and all the water coming out, that was what was happening as the fens were drained. When this post was installed, that very top top part of the post was at ground level so you can see the scale of that shrinkage over the last 170 years or so it's almost four meters no down. way so yeah it's, it's completely incredible. disappeared david has shared many of the images he's captured out walking with teddy so if you've been inspired by somewhere beautiful like home fen you can send us photos we can feature on screen but don't forget we can only use them if they're shot in landscape not portrait Chris Page, ITV News, Home Fen, near Peterborough.